starter system voltage drop testing. If you're looking at a cable like this picture here on the car you're working on, stop. Don't go any further. Make sure that the battery connections are clean and tight. Place a positive voltmeter lead on the positive battery terminal. Then place the negative voltmeter lead on the motor side of the solenoid. You can see where we're pointing here. This is going to test the starter's power circuit. Crank the engine and watch the voltmeter. Voltage drop should not exceed 6 tenths of a volt. If the voltage drop is higher than normal, move the negative voltmeter lead to the battery terminal of the solenoid. You can see where we're pointing here. This is going to test the positive battery cable. Crank the engine, watch the voltmeter. Voltage drop shouldn't exceed 4 tenths of a volt. If it does, ensure that the cable connections are clean and tight and replace the battery cable as necessary. If the cable isn't as fault, check the starter solenoid. Place the positive voltmeter lead on the battery terminal of the solenoid and the negative lead on the motor side of the solenoid. This tests the solenoid's contacts. Crank the engine, watch the voltmeter. If the voltage drop exceeds two-tenths of a volt, replace the solenoid. To test the ground circuit of the starter, the positive voltmeter lead needs to go to the starter housing. You can see where we're pointing here. And then place the negative voltmeter lead to the battery negative. This is going to test the starter's ground circuit. Crank the engine, watch the voltmeter. If the voltage drop exceeds four-tenths of a volt, Check the battery negative cable, make sure it's clean and tight, and the starter's mounting bolts, make sure they're tight. 